வணக்கம் இந்த செஷன் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் த டிஃபரன்சஸ் பிட்வீன் எஸ்ஐபி இசிசி அண்ட் எஸ் பர்ஹானா திஸ் இன்க்ளூட்ஸ் த சேஞ்சஸ் இன் தி ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் நியூ ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் சி த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபார் தி குவிஸ் வி டிஸ்கஸ் இன் த லாஸ்ட் செஷன் விச் ஆர் தி எஸ்ஐபி அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் பில்ட் ஆன் பிஸ்னஸ் சூ செவன் எஸ்ஐபி இஆர்பி சிஆர்எம் சப்ளை செயின் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் பிஎல்எம் product life cycle management and supplier relationship management sr what does sap s4 hana stand for sap business suite for sap hana which are the building blocks of s4 hana the hana platform s4 hana business suite and fury which was the fully optimized s4 hana version 1511 which were released in 2015 november what roles can be performed after learning sap end users or functional consultants or technical consultants what are the responsibilities of end users using sap application perform day to day activities what are the responsibilities of functional consultants functional consultants should understand the business processes and requirements and translating them into sap and facilitate effective usage of sap to meet the business needs <coughs> what are the responsibilities of technical consultants technical consultants are responsible for system installation customization and integration with other systems as discussed earlier a system a dedicated server is hired for the training purpose and practice purpose if you would like to practice the course with me you may hire the same system so we can practice as a team if you need details you can contact me through the whatsapp number given here or the email address info@vgrowin.com i will give the server provider details and they will provide you the access to the same dedicated system commercials will be discussed between you and the service provider please note the server access will be provided from 15 january 2024 let us continue the session by understanding the differences between ecc and s4 hana sap launched s4 hana in 2015 by 2027 sap will not maintain ecc so companies already using ecc will be required to move to s4 hana companies implementing sap now they are starting with s4 hana only sap s4 hana as of now works on both on premise and cloud since january 2023 sap offers s4 hana only on cloud sap s4 hana is compatible only with sap hana database if companies are using another database they must switch over to the hana database sap s4 hana streamlines features and processes from sap ecc to reduce cost and boost business efficiency to facilitate this some features have changed some features have been replaced and some features are combined and introduced as new features first let us discuss the changes then in ecc into s4 hana sap s4 hana allows to extend the metal number from 18 characters to 40 characters bear in mind though that if you turn on the extension you will have to adjust your custom code to the new metal length of char 40 in sap ecc customers and vendors are separate data objects s4 hana integrates customers and vendors into a unified master data object called business partners customer vendor integration has several benefits such as one business partner can have multiple roles and addresses general data is shared across roles which reduces your database footprint there is less redundancy since unused data is deleted after a certain period to process material requirements planning mrp in ecc you must wait until non peak hours and run a batch job in sap s4 hana you can run mrp in real time sap has also simplified subcontracting in s4 hana please note there is a downside to this you can no longer run mrp at the storage level like sap ecc but only at the plant and area levels production version was not mandatory for discrete manufacturing in ecc in s4 hana production version is mandatory for discrete manufacturing also 
in addition for subcontracting process production version is required combining the materials and its bill of material for sap s4 ana sap integrated the main sap advanced planning optimizer apo sub modules into two configurations demand planning and supply network planning are now integrated into the new sap integrated business planning sap ibp module production planning and detail scheduling ppds and global atp have partly merged in the sap s4 on a digital core these changes mean you cannot automatically migrate from sap apo to the new configurations the material ledger is another feature that is optional in sap ecc but mandatory in sap s4 hana most companies do not activate the material ledger in sap ecc due to the frustration with the many aggregate and index tables but in sap s4 hana the material ledger is part of the universal journal that is the table acdoca so this frustration is now a thing of the past this will be briefed little later in ecc financial data are managed in both fi finance and co controlling modules in sap s4 hana fi and co are part of single table in acdoca that is the university universe the universal journal this means you no longer have to reconcile them with the general ledger at each period end the universal journal reconciles them automatically in real time so period and closings are simpler in sap s4 hana in <clears throat> in sap ecc costing based copa that is controlling profitability analysis is the default option in sap s4 hana the default option is account based controlling profitability analysis copa though you can run both options together now let us discuss the new things in s4 hana thanks to the s4 hana cloud database sap s4 hana is faster and more efficient than sap ecc due to several reasons sap s4 hana reads data from the main memory instead of hard disk so there are fewer data movements the tables in s4 hana are column based instead of row based so it only reads the relevant column in a query it can also process different columns in parallel there are no aggregate index or history tables since applications can access the original data sap s4 hana combines the online transactional processing oltp and the online analytical processing oltp tables you no longer need to reconcile them the next interesting new feature in s4 hana is advanced atp in sap ecc you can check product availability product allocation and back orders with available to promise atp with sap s4 hana you can do all this and more with advanced atp advanced atp uses automation for functions like the releasing item for delivery checking stock availability in alternative plants performing mass availability checks in sap ecc warehouse management takes place in the warehouse management module but this is replaced by extended warehouse management module ewm in sap s4 hana sap ewm helps the users to manage complex warehouse processes such as labor management goods distribution with ease as mentioned earlier sap s4 hana combines several data modules into a single table called the universal journal that is acdoca this includes asset accounting gl material ledger management accounting fi and copa acdoca removes many aggregate and index tables which greatly reduces data footprint it is also a much more efficient system sap s4 hana introduces mat doc a new inventory management system that eliminates over 26 tables present in sap ecc now material documents are stored in mat doc instead of mkpf or ms eg tables this removes redundancy and improves stock reporting efficiency sap s4 hana has global trade services gts 
which replace the foreign trade functions in SAP ECC. SAP Global Trade Services GTS uses automation to speed up processes that were manual in SAP ECC. This includes embargo checking, license checks, and import and export declarations. FIARCR was the credit management system in SAP ECC and it was purely an internal FI credit management application. In SAP S4 HANA, credit management falls under Financial Supply Chain Management FSCM. Automated workflows in FSCM credit management remove manual processes for tasks like credit limit approval and risk scoring. Also, its distributed architecture means it can interface with external credit agencies directly. The S4 HANA Revenue Accounting and Reporting module replaces SAP ECC's Sales and Distribution Revenue Recognition module. RAR is an add-on that is based on the new five-step revenue recognition model <coughs> that is International Financial Reporting Standard 15. RAR comes with new optimized contract management capabilities to comply with IFRS 15. At the same time, it simplifies revenue recognition. And more interestingly, SAP S4 HANA introduces a new user interface, SAP Fiori. SAP Fiori gives user a consistent, intuitive, and integrated experience. With SAP Fiori, you can get work done faster and more accurately. This speeds up onboarding and training and provides a better user experience. You can also create custom experience applications that work consistently across devices. Now we went through some of the key differences or the new features that are come into SAP S4 HANA compared to ECC. Like this for every version upgrade, there are some simplifications or new things or changes are being done by SAP. Whenever it is happening, SAP releases a simplification list. You may find them by searching on the internet. For example, by searching, SAP S4 HANA 2020 simplification list, a PDF opening, a PDF opened in the following link. Maybe from here you cannot click and get it. So to facilitate you to access this, I gave the link in the notes of this YouTube where you can see it. The link is given there. You can use that link and access this document to go through the list of simplifications made in this version 2020. So in this session, we discussed the differences between ECC and S4 HANA through changes in features and some new features. Next, let us go through some quiz questions for this session to refresh our understanding. What is the maximum length of material master numbers in S4 HANA? In S4 HANA, customers and vendors are unified as one master data, true or false. Is metal ledger activation mandatory in S4 HANA? What are the functions of advanced ATP? Is production version mandatory in S4 HANA for discrete manufacturing? After understanding the differences between ECC and S4 HANA, we will discuss the role of SAP S4 HANA in business in the next session. Please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents and suggest to your friends and colleagues to subscribe to our channel so they also get the benefit of this knowledge sharing session. Meanwhile, if you would like to hire a dedicated server to practice along with me, contact me at the following email and WhatsApp number. Thank you. See you in the next session. Take care. Bye.